setting up my bullet journal for February 2024. So let's start. This is my first A5 dot grid um, Stelogy notebook and I just prepared it with some uh, textile color, uh, black tea and leftover pink hair color. And I put in uh, some uh, of the sticky notes so that I know which page is for what. So let's start. First of all, I will glue back on um, the cover, but only this part. And I will get rid of this part because I like this page very much. So then I have this gray, um, a bit thicker page. And I thought it would be cool to have an image on here because I don't like, I, I like the colors, but I don't like this grayish color. So, I decided to use just a little bit of this fabric and I will use some washi tape just for a little bit of extra something. I'm just repairing the page because it's a bit ripped. So now this will be my name page uh, and I will write from when to when I use this bullet journal. I just used a bit of washi um, or sticker underlay and then I thought about maybe using something like this Oops. or maybe something like this or maybe both of them. These are sticky notes but I will rip them a bit and um, glue them together. So I inked the edges. Now for the gluing part. So I will use this journal from February 2024 to, we will see, maybe April or May, I think so. And I just think that this page lacks a bit of something. I know it's very busy, busy but I, I like busy. So maybe some of this, this mandalas or motivational quote. Maybe a little uh, silver glittery butterfly, something like this. So cover page ready. I know it's very busy and there are many people who don't like this style and who don't like this style either, but I love it very much. As you can see here, uh, this glitter glue is very thick, so it has to dry um, a huge amount of time, <laughs> I think. So I think I will come back later or maybe tomorrow. So it's all dried now. So let's flip to the next page. The next page is my index page and then my year at a glance. So for my year at a glance I will use this freebie which is from Notebook Therapy and I printed it on sticky paper and will just stick it onto the page. So that's it for my index and for my year at a glance for 2024. I will just write the page numbers uh, by hand and I see instantly where I have uh, which thing. I don't know if one page will be enough. Maybe I need uh, two pages, but we will see if this will be would be not enough. I would uh, tip in another page and uh, so that I have two pages for my index, but we will see how it works out. This is a freebie I printed out by myself and I found it on a Pixabay. 
and I will just cut it out and glue it onto my page and maybe decorate it a bit. So this is a part of a freebie from Notebook Therapy. It is from my monthly log or from Notebook Therapy's monthly log to say so. And I printed the monthly log, but it was the wrong size for my uh, other notebook, for my other bullet journal. So I decided to reuse this, um, this part. And I think it's perfectly for here. So the next step will be my February cover page and my February calendar to mark off the days of February. So this again is a freebie from Pixabay. And this is a freebie I found on Google. It is from entheosweb.com. I will link uh, all the images I use and the calendar I use down below in the info box. So February cover page and mini calendar is ready. The next page would be my February monthly log and I would like to use the freebie from Notebook Therapy but I did not receive the email yet so I have to wait a few, a few more days I think. So I go on to the um, last pages for this setup and this will be my weekly trackers and the rest of the first week so the first few days for February 2024. So I just realized that the 1st of February 2024, as you can see here, is on Tuesday, not on Wednesday, as I wrote here. So I will not use weekly trackers for this week. I don't know if I will need them, so I will let them be. Um, and I will put Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and that's it. So now for the whole flip through, as you can see, I put my journal into this cover. This is the cover I made by myself. It has a front pocket with my future lock in it. This was created by my brother and I printed it by myself. This is the back with another pocket and with my key card in it. I don't need it. Uh, but I just like the look of it, so I just keep it here. Then I have many charms from an old uh, bracelet and some charms I included um, extra. So a little key. This pink wooden, uh, not button, but a charm says handmade. This is an old button from a chair we don't use anymore. Uh, wooden buttons and something else. And this is, uh, it don't shows up so well, but it is a very light pink pencil case, which contains two pencils and usually my tweezers. And it sits really nicely onto the back of my um, bullet journal cover. So this is the inside with a few stickers for decoration. And these are some functional stickers. 
and usually I kept some uh, boxes stickers some functional boxes stickers in this big pocket here this is a uh, jelly sheet this is the jeans this is from the pencil case this cover I bought from Lone Phelps Designs it's a clear vinyl cover and I put in some um, jelly sheet which is glittering and has this cute little paws and this is an embroidery my mom did for me, so I change it every month. And the Lauren Phelps design cover contains a few decorative things. So these are stickers I laminated. So for example, this says, do what you love. So cover page, acetate with some stickers I laminated um, and this cute paper clip just for decoration. Cover page with my name and from when to when I use this, used this bullet journal from. Index. Jelly sheet with some more um, laminated stickers and this cute paper clip. Year at a glance, freebie from Notebook Therapy. January cover page because I have a few days of a few days of January in this uh, journal too, and I tapped January. Another acetate I made by myself. Stickers. So the first days of January, I just changed the uh, <laughs> the dates. I think I had Wednesday on here when I showed you, but of course um, it's Monday. This space is for to dos and notes throughout the day. These boxes are for appointments. If I don't have appointments on this specific day, I will let it be as it is, or maybe I will put a decorative sticker in it. We will see. And this little section is for my work. So I write down here um, when I planned to work, from when to when I planned to work. And a little bit of decoration in the right bottom corner on every page. Oh, and I did not show you. This is my bookmark I created by myself. Just a few uh, charms and beads on a string or a double string. Josephine Bow Design Bow Tab. February cover page. Vellum. February monthly calendar to mark off the days. February freebie printable from uh, Notebook Therapy again. And I like to tap my calendar page with these little tabs. So this says February. And my monthly lock with this Josephine Bow Design Bow Tabs. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more bullet journal and junk journal videos. Bye.